All right, thanks for staying with us now. Public relations are the various activities that the company undertakes to promote and protect its image, product, and policy with stakeholders. Now, um, stakeholders are the interested parties with the company, such as customers, suppliers, uh, shareholders, and employees. Now, public relations advises the management to adopt rules that improve the company's image, publicly focusing on people to think positively about it and what it offers to achieve the purpose because public relations sets the company's goal. Now, amidst the tough times we are all going through, especially here in Nigeria, what role do you think PR or public relations and communications can play in um, business growth, right? That's the question for today. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 8038463. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. All right, so this is an interesting conversation. Um, well, let me come to you, Uti, quickly because you are a customer relations person, right? Um, when you think PR and you think um, businesses, you know, especially with all the tough times. Again, I think this is even coming off of the back of the Naira issues, right? How banks were just not <laughs> communicating right to their customers. Because me, I feel. Like, even though there was, a, there was a big deal happening around, I mean, there, there would have been a, a nicer way for banks to have communicated to their customers personally that would have at least calmed everybody's nerves. That's what I feel. But, hey, I'm not the expert here. So let me hear your thoughts, Uti. You know, what, what, what do you think about PR? And, again, especially when we're dealing with tough, um, tough times in small businesses. Why you just insist on stepping on my inner non-banker till every time we talk about this situation look <laughs> crisis management is a key part of public relations mm -hmm. but please tread carefully where you say banks could have i will leave it to the pr experts to educate us today but please tread cautiously Uti Eli. um <laughs> i um uh I'm a big proponent of public relations. I mean, it, as, as a customer experience professional, public relations goes hand in hand with what we do. Um, oddly enough, I studied public relations and marketing, so <laughs> it's actually um, at my core. But I think that it's, it's almost becoming, would I say, lost art in the way that it was originally coined. So it's evolved in many ways, taking into account new media like social media, um, and the opportunities that customers have, um, or rather organizations have, for the perceptions about their brand to go worldwide. So today, if I ask you, if I ask an average man on the street who's never left Nigeria about the Apple brand, he has a perception about it, mm. right? So the fact is, it's no longer um, about managing within your own um, primary environment. The, the media now allows you know, the perceptions and your brand awareness to actually span right across the globe. So it's it's just, it's the same, but it's different. So it's evolving. Um, but it just allows for us to do a lot of exciting things in this time. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. Absolutely. Alera, quickly, let me come to you. Um, so, I mean, regarding public relations, one of the most important things it basically does is it creates some type of... Um, it creates a journey for the customers or for the public that's the journey of the brand so for instance now you have a new product that you want to put out for people to start using the first thing you need to do once you're done with your development is to have a public you know relations person to come to analyze you're going to be calling the press you're going to be doing so many things so public relations is quite important in this time because they are you know, and i mean a lot of nigerians are woke right now new businesses are springing up so it's no longer the white streets businesses or white street brands individuals are coming up with businesses that are helping them and being able to understand the channels and the means to you know pass out your your message it's very important like uti mentioned crisis management is another area of public relations that wasn't really focused on because you know when something happened and you hear maybe a big brand is having a drama or one issue there's somebody behind, you know, that is there quenching the fire, ensuring that the news or the information that the public has is not what stays. To be controlled. Yes, it's controlling controlled. the narrative. So, yeah, so it's really How about important. you, Sansi, quickly? 
Um, well, I do have a question. I'm not sure if it's time to ask her yet about um, public relations. Yes, there is the old meaning of public relations, which is like managing a brand and you know all, everything that comes with it. But I've noticed that lately, there's like a lot of blurring of the lines. Like mm. there is like data analysis, there is copywriting, there is PR, and oftentimes you see like all these things are interwoven. Mm. You know, like okay. which one is which? <laughs> Let me bring her in. Let's <laughs> to the, my Manuel Macaulay is a public relations consultant that has over nine years of combined professional experience in journalism, digital marketing, and public relations. Now she works with African tech and startup companies to help uncover and bring their stories to life through PR, right? And she's joined us live in studio. Hello, blessing. Hi. Look amazing. <laughs> So, I mean, you've heard all the small banter that we had around the public relations and the conversation, right? Um, so, I'd like to just, you know, ask you, right, uh, first of all, how important is public relations in any small business or any business at all? How important is it? Because, again, especially with small businesses, I feel like, you know, when they are planning their business structure, they do not actually pay attention, you know, to PR because maybe they just feel like, mm -mm, this is for the big guys. These are the ones that are supposed to be doing the PR, the marketing, mm -hmm. and all of that. How important is PR, especially to small businesses? Okay. First, I have to say thank you for having me here. You know, yeah. And I think that I'm in good company. I mean, <laughs> already, I, yeah. feel, I feel great about being here because, I mean, so, a lot of people that say, that understand that public relations is important. And from what everyone has said, Everybody has an understanding of the fact that public relations is important. And um, for small businesses, it is very important. Now, there's also the reality that they may not be able to afford it um, at the beginning of the business, but it is also very important to pay attention to it. And even if you can't afford this thing right now, I mean, if I want to buy a phone, I can't afford it right now. I have to make plans for it, right? So even if um, I can't, pull out the money from my pocket immediately to pay for it. I want to ask one or two people, what do you think about the latest iPhone 14? Do you think I should use it? And I think that the same approach should also be brought into public relations. Of course, as a public relations consultant, I want you to pay me for my services. I don't want mm -hmm. you to take my brains for free. But there's also um, the understanding that we have relationships and we can leverage relationships. So if I have a relationship with you or you have a relationship with me and you say, okay, I, I want to do this, what do you think? What would you advise? You can't, I can't afford to pay you right now. Then I could ask for um, ownership, mm -hmm. some part ownership. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not in that business. <laughs> <laughs> but what you mentioned something very critical, and she talked about crisis management. Mm -hmm. You know, because again. This is, we're in, we're in tough times, we can't lie, globally, right? I mean, see what's happening now in Turkey, mm -hmm. buildings just collapsing. There are, there are things happening all over, and it's quite overwhelming, right? Um, and, you know, crisis management, I don't see us as, we don't do so well when it comes to, like, chaos, right? We are not, we're not, most businesses don't function well under chaos. They just want everything to be smooth. Because, again, we'll give example. I mean, we've had series of conversations with Uti on small businesses and how you do customer approach and all of that. You know, when there is maybe a bad pro product, for instance, that's crisis, mm -hmm. right? It is not really so much of the fact that probably you delivered a bad product to me that is the problem. Most of the time is the communication, is how you, how you try to mm. manage the situation, right? That just helps to just cut out everything or mends it, okay. right? So, I mean, when it comes to, like, crisis management, right, um, what is the best approach, you know, when, when it comes to uh, crisis management and PR and communicating at that point? What's the best approach? Okay, so unfortunately, lots of businesses have to suffer crisis. And not just businesses, I mean organizations in general, from um, private to public, everybody's, I mean, everybody's prone to um, a crisis. But step one is to know that there could be a crisis because nobody is, it's not, I mean, nobody's invincible. Um, and when you know there could be a crisis, you have to make plans for it. So while you're making your communications plan, why you want to launch your product, why you want to be in the media, do you have a crisis um, communication plan in place. That's very important. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't have that. And because they don't, they don't have that, um, they're scampering when a crisis comes. And it's like, okay, let's just try something. Let's just try, let's try to make it work. 
if you're able to work with a professional from day one, you, there's a high chance that you will avoid the crisis. Or even if some crises are unfortunately unavoidable, if you can't avoid the crisis, there's a plan in place for to when manage. a crisis happens mm. to manage it. Mm. And that's, I mean, that's what it's about. So um, unfortunately, there's all of the chaos going on in the world right now. Some of it could have been better managed with um, a crisis communication plan. Um, and often, people know that there is a crisis coming. There's times that you know a crisis is coming. So let's, talk, let's take the um, Naira redesign, for instance. Mm. There's a deadline for Naira redesign. So unfortunately, people don't have enough. You know there's not enough to go around. Mm -hmm. I think that communication should have actually gone out. There's digital communication. There's um, newspaper communication. All of that stuff could have gone out to say, we, are, we may go through this process. We may have to deal with this crisis because unfortunately, we do not have enough. Mm. And cash um, in the banks. So we will recommend that in this moment you begin to make use of um, transfers, um, electronic payment options and all of that stuff. Mm. But I, I, I mean, I didn't see a lot of banks do that. And I have quite a number of um, bank accounts across. But I didn't see quite a, um, I didn't see a lot of them do Nobody that. Nobody sent you a message. Once it, it was after yeah. the thing happened. Yeah, so it was, <laughs> after it, it was after it became a crisis that they started saying, consider using um, mm. electronic payment options and all of that. You Imagine if you're just pre prepared. Yeah. 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 Sanzi, you wanted to Well, ask. for me, I feel like, um, yes, there is crisis management or being proactive or thinking ahead. But also, sometimes I feel, and this is me thinking as just the average Nigerian, because we're, we're, our first example is like Nigerian businesses, right? I feel like it's, sometimes it could be this thing, lie to me and make me feel better, right? So it's like, think like we're all gonna drown but don't worry we're going to be okay you know that's kind of what I feel so um I remember a little while ago I think that was last year I was working in a corporate field and so we we're talking about this PR and then someone raised up his hand and he said no they're like a bunch of liars I'm sorry yeah, Dave <laughs> <laughs> this is what you said I'm repeating your word right yeah. so um how do you manage that mindset that a lot of Nigerians have about um, PR and what they're marketing. They just think that you guys are really beautiful liars because you know how to package <laughs> nonsense and give it to us. I take an exception to that. <laughs> We're not liars mm. and we don't package beautiful nonsense. Mm. Um, I mean, those that package beautiful nonsense um, would probably be the unprofessional ones, right? But if you meet a public relations professional that knows their onions, that understands the ethics of the profession, the person is not willing to package nonsense. As a matter of fact, if um, the product is by, I, I can see the product, I know that it's a problem, I know that if I can't, if I don't want, if I don't um, ask you to fix that product, there's a crisis waiting for me in front and I don't mm. want you calling me up at um, midnight to say, oh, we can't, um, something is going on on the internet, we can't yeah. sleep, or somebody ate our food. And No, I don't want all of that. Mm -hmm. So if I see from the get-go that it's a problem, and I mean, there are lots of professionals, professional colleagues in the industry that also stand by this. If the product is not good, we don't want to be associated with it because we love our peace. So mm -hmm. I'm working with you. Because they will come for you. Yes, of yeah. course. I don't want anybody. <laughs> I, and, I mean, you know how we can get. Mm. Um, they're not just coming for you. They're not just coming for your profession. They, they're not coming for you as a professional. They're coming for your personal life. Your family, they're coming your for your children, family. Your, your husband, husband. Everybody. Yeah. Your mother, your father. <laughs> and every other person in your profession. <laughs> now, if you just tuned in, thanks for staying with us. We're discussing PR and communication for business growth amidst tough times. And we have with us Blessing Emmanuel Macaulay. Now, um, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to Zero One. 8038-4663. So Alera, I'll come to you, then I'll come to Uti. So for me, the question that I have for you is, you know how um, I, I, don't, I don't want us to focus on the bigger brands or the government or the banks. I want us to focus on small businesses for my question. You know how a lot of times, um, one of the most important things, like you mentioned, is to ensure that you have a PR communication specialist in your, on your team, right? What is the major thing you would say a, a brand should consider when it comes to to avoid a problem, you know, like a branding message or something that will happen eventually, like a crisis, what is the most important aspect of PR that you would suggest that a small business should, you know, enforce? Okay. 
Um, Sorry, you mentioned, you know, earlier we we're talking about uh, like a product, a product was designed and in between as the customers are using this product, there should be somebody in-house probably checking to ensure that, you know, that false doesn't come. So aside from products, when it comes to its brand in general, what is that major thing that you feel like if you don't put this one in place, just expect that, you know, a problem will come at the end of the day that you might have to start putting out some, putting out some message in. Okay, so like you already said, the first thing is, be sure that you have a good product or service. Right. Good is, I mean, it has to be good. It has to meet the promise that you have given. If you say that the um, glass cup will, when you drink water from it, you feel like you're in heaven, it better meets that promise, right? That's mm -hmm. the most important thing. So whatever you say you will give, ensure to deliver it. And then when you're able to do that, every other thing will begin to fall in place. Um, unfortunately, lots of businesses do not pay attention to that because like somebody mentioned, and I quite agree, um, a lot of small businesses just started on the basis of um, I need to just survive, I need to have make money. make money and all of that. And that's okay, right? But as you go along, you need to be able to talk at the heart of your audience. And there's also a chance that the product that you think is the best product in the world will solve, the, um, it will solve all of the challenges is not even solving the challenge. So you need to also go back to the drawing board, do some research, have conversations with your target audience, work with a um, communications professional to understand the target audience and understand what they want. Because um, as much as we are in the business of communication, our role is multifaceted. Um, we, I, I like to say that we are your therapist, we are your lawyer, we are everything to you, right? Because we actually, we put our hearts into what we do because we know that when your brand looks good, we look good. So that's very important. So mm -hmm. I would say focus on solving a problem and then delivering on your brand promise. And then um, once you're able to do that, things begin to fall into place. Okay, so that, Uti, let me come to you. Okay, so um, I guess my question is around how, um, I, I said earlier, how the space has evolved. And since we're talking about SMEs, um, I will assume that quite a few of them are unable to, um, potentially don't even know how to get in touch with a communications expert, and most likely may not even be able to afford one. Uh, so how would SMEs be able to manage um, this space, given how much exposure they have today with social media? How would they be able to manage that space? What should they be looking out for and thinking of in terms of um, you know, easy steps without the expert's guidance of a consultant like yourself. Okay, so what should SMEs look out for easy steps? First of all, satisfy your customer. That is number one. And like you mentioned earlier, customers, customer service is a very important role um, in the public relations scheme because I also like to say that your customer and um, your customer is your your best public relations channel. Because I mean, if I have experienced good service, I want to tell somebody else about it. And all that stuff. so, first of all, focus on satisfying your customer. And um, there's there's social media, which is low cost and has low barrier um, to right. entry. So, just get on social media, mm. speak to your customers actually engage with your customers, ensure that you're uh, able to connect to them with your brand, listen to what you're saying. Um, there's a chance that you're saying this is what it is and all of that fancy stuff and your customer is saying, no, that's not what I'm experiencing. So listen and then of course take the lessons, tweak and bring something better back to them. Um, there's also the place of email, um, email communication periodic email newsletters, um, with, with periodic email newsletters, you can keep your customers Updated. abreast of what's happening in your industry. We recently did this. We, this is what's going on in the industry. This is how it's affecting us and all of that stuff. You keep them um, abreast so that they know mm -hmm. and they can be a part of um, mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I would also say you should not want to get <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, right, um, as much as you cannot afford a professional in the beginning, mm -hmm. just try to have a conversation with somebody. 
so a communications professional i'm not so not i'm, I'm not just saying anybody have a conversation with a communications professional to say this is what i'm starting i can't afford you right now like i mentioned earlier i can't afford you right now but what do you think i can do and that would definitely help so that when you can actually afford to get one to um um, when you pay, can afford them. When you can afford to hire a communications professional, then you go full swing on it, but at least you have a good foundation. So let me quickly go back to you as a professional. In your years of experience and working with small businesses, right, startups and techs like, you know, we read, uh, what has been the, the, the most common errors that you have observed among small businesses when it comes to the PR and communication? What is the most common error that you see that maybe like, if you have met 10 businesses, maybe like seven businesses, you know, it was a repeated error that you needed to correct. What do you think that would be? Um, I would say it's with getting your messaging right. Mm. So um, a number of people that go into business are, uh, and I don't want to say, I, I'm, I mean, this is not stati stat stati statistically based, <laughs> um, but a number of people go into business because they have, say, their creatives, for instance. Oh, I am a, um, I'm a fashion designer or something. And then they go into their business. Coincidentally, creatives are also, this, this, they always have many ideas. I mean, you're a creative, you can relate to what I'm saying. And because they always have so many ideas, there's a chance that they want to push all of the ideas at once. They want to talk about this and talk about that and all of that stuff. And it begins to interfere with the main message. Um, unfortunately, a lot of businesses have to deal with, I have this message, this, there's this side of me, there's that side of me, and I want to showcase everything at once. No. It's important to focus on one Streamline. thing at a time. Focus. Streamline. Mm. Do, let's, do, let's focus on this. Let's get this done. Let's make, um, let's let people know that this is what your business is about in this moment. Mm. Yes, there's a chance that in the next three years or in the next five years, there's going to be a different conversation. You have, you have probably taken a different route or you are adding something to it. Yes, that's possible. And when it's, um, when it's time to do that, we can expand the message or even change the message or make adjustments to it as um, necessary. But it's important to reduce your message into what is important in that moment mm. and um, not just be all over the place. Okay, I would like to, sorry, let me just add one more question and I'll come okay. to you. Mm -hmm. So you know how there's a trend of things going on. So for instance, I listened to an audio, uh, a radio um, advert this afternoon. They were saying a town hall, different from, you know, yeah. you know how things are trending. Mm -hmm. Do you advise that businesses go with a trend to boost their popularity? Because when I listened to that advert, I was just laughing. You know, because guys, I was invited to a town hall. They don't now say different. I said, ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Me are now completed from Bala Blue. <laughs> you know? I mean, so um, what do you advise? Like, there are trends going on. TikTok is, I mean, there's always one trend or the other going on in, on mm -hmm. TikTok. Do you think that, you know, that's a, that's a fun way to, to pass your messaging, to pass whatever it is that you're doing to communicate? Do you think it's fun for businesses to jump on trends when it's happening? Do you think that that works? My first question is always, is this relevant to your business? Hmm. If it's not relevant to your business, sit it out. You don't have to be everywhere. You don't have to be, you, in fact, you don't have to be on all social media platforms. Mm. Just stick with what's important to your business in the moment. There's no need jumping on the town hall trend <laughs> if it's not, not relevant. Um, yes, we want, to, we want to trend, we want to go viral. We want um, the attention because we think that it will help improve sales and all of this. But for what it is worth, you could just be turning people off. Um, for what it is worth, that trend may not even suit your target audience. So focus. My first question when I hear, let's jump on this trend, is is it relevant? Mm -hmm. If it's not relevant, sit it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, ladies. All right, so um, I think I asked you a question earlier, and you have just said that, uh, you know, as a PR, you shouldn't be everywhere. But the very first question I asked is, there's this thing about, like, P the, the line is getting blurred. Right, so oftentimes you see like a PR person, you don't know, ah, are you a copywriter again? Are you a data analyst? Are you a skit maker? Are you, are you a social media manager? Which one are you? But oftentimes you see, as a matter of, most times you see them like handling all of that. So it, 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 does that 
does that take away from from the office of the PR or is it like just one of those upgrades you have to go along with in like 21st century world? So like I said um, earlier, we we wear many hats, mm -hmm. we are multifaceted. And we we are we are that because it's it's what our job requires from us, right? So um, everybody every public relations professional um, cannot do everything as a matter of fact of course you have your strengths mm -hmm. um, and it's important to know this is where my strength lies and when I need somebody else to do something that is not my strength I should just tap into the person's strength and let the person do it um, but it's also important that as a PR professional you have an idea of all of these things um, for instance you've mentioned data analysis you've mentioned copywriting we do a lot of writing. You must know something little on everything. Yes, yeah. but there, of course, there are the core, core that you must 